Jaguar E-Type Roadster 3.8. Owners, gentlemen, start your engines. We are looking at PAS offering for the 3.8 Roadster. And the first thing I want to do is congratulate you owners. As I'm sure you're aware, it is the most valuable and sought after E-Type in the whole range, the first of them. And, uh, and a beautiful car, undoubtedly. We are going to have an overview here of our interior kit for the 3.8 from BAS, all handmade here in beautiful Palm Springs, California, to exact original specifications with materials imported from the UK, unconditionally guaranteed to fit and be exactly as the original. This is undoubtedly the best interior kit available in the world, second to none. I hope to prove that in the video as we go you'll see for yourself um, what uh, what separates BAS from the pack well let's start with a couple of things let's start with the most important one of the most important I think is the materials the materials are all imported from the UK exact reproductions of the originals in every detail uh, the grain of the vinyl hardura uh, all the materials exactly as original we have more colors than anyone in the world. All the original colors are available through us. And, um, and then we have to look at the completeness of the kit. But uh, let's, let's talk a bit more on the materials. I think one of the most important is the leather, the quality of leather we use. Uh, we pay three times the price that our competitors and we have to air freight it from London. It is the best available reproduction the auto hide suitable for uh, e-type uh, extremely high quality we pay more for it uh, so that not only the seats look beautiful as this does now but they'll look good in six weeks time six months time 16 months time or six years time let's try 16 years as well so longevity so high quality leathers give these perfect results but they also they also last the results stay we'll uh, look at that uh, now we'll look at the vinyl uh, the vinyl has the exact uh, grain pattern again it's the vinyl the thin vinyl as, as used by Jaguar most of our competitors are using the thicker ambler for the early cars which is not correct um, we'll continue on with the material short nap wool cloth moquette 100% wool to where they needed stretch that's what, what Jaguar used then we have our English mohair that's uh, similar to the uh, Sunfast cloth in America but uh, with the hair and bone pattern very high quality our convertible top and boot cover which is featured in separate videos in the in the shop or down below from this one you'll see it uh, contrast contrasting piping available uh, as uh, as it was originally from Jaguar on request. Uh, this is the early five strap style. We have both early and late. Uh, keep in mind the, the early one doesn't fit as well as the later one and that's why Jaguar changed the pattern. But to be correct, this is, this is how it should be. All leather reinforced with the hooks, the copper rivets, uh, all cad cut, as is everything you see on the table on our very expensive and precise cat cutting machine here it is here the fact uh, we're laying everything out on the bed of the cutting machine and uh i don't think that's that's not jaguar but you get the idea the cat files we roll out the vinyl for instance from our huge stock here there on it goes we'll roll it out the guys pull up the correct file 3.8 rows up press the button the whole interior is cut out in about 42 seconds very impressive. As is the carpet set, under felt, hard euros, everything. Panels, uh, at least the soft panels, are all cut with this machine. Um, I just want to make sure we covered the materials, not quite. Let's carry on. Almost got off track there. Hard euro, rubberized felt, exactly as original. You can see that the way the machine cuts the holes here, the plug hasn't come right out. Has the uh, felt back has the correct pattern. You see how beautifully bound this is. We have a purpose-made machine, so a machine that does all the binding. Uh, this, is, this is very precise, and the corners are, are beautiful. In fact, uh, the standard of binding is much higher than Jaguar ever achieved. Um, 
this uh, Wilton wool carpet again 100% wool with the original Stover heel pad uh, the early cars of course were flat floors with a leather heel pad with that said I, I would point out that uh, we have done many of the first 20 cars through the years this is our 25th year of business here in 2019 and through the years we've done many of the flat floors they're, they're quite unique many times there's lots of quirks but we know them well so if you have one we'll work with you to uh, to get it right it is uh, it is a bit of a moving target, but uh, we have more experience than anybody in the world, I would imagine. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to take a break, and then we're just going to come back and talk about the content. And of course, the content of, of interior kits is not the same from supplier to supplier. That's why we post ours on the webpage. You'll see it listed below this video, trim kit checklist. We don't play a shell game with content. What you see on the list is included. If it isn't on the list, it's not included. There are lots of extras that you can buy, but it is a very complete kit, uh, standard and major kit. The, the difference tends to be the inclusion of convertible top and uh, seat foams. Um, I don't have the foams out on the table, but they are shown in other videos. Uh, of course, these are installed inside the seats in this particular case. Okay, so we'll leave it there and then we'll come back and look at content. So the content, as I said, is listed in that list, but uh, let's say it's everything you need for complete interior chain, uh, color change, as a matter of fact. So everything you need. And it's very complete down to hardware for the boot cover and convertible top, brand new panel clips for the door panels, screws for mounting uh, panels, snaps for the trunk set, and uh, carpet carpet studs you can see that we list them all in the labels that's another great thing about our kit all of this will come in labeled bags that helps you and your installer know exactly what you got and where it goes some are obvious some are not so look at this one vinyl pillar pillar covers and a quarter inch foam to, to um underneath them they're the hockey sticks we call them up at the pillar panels um with the major kit you get brand new fully upholstered door cappings which is nice because they're hard to do for the most people um, so having having them uh, brand new is a much better way to go brand new steel laser cut um, many of the other panels are aluminum panels that are laser cut you can see them here uh, precise reproductions of the original with the, the holes clips rebate panels for the door rear light cover panels for the surround at the back side panels door panels again uh, it's a uh, water resistant uh, automotive board that we use cut on the machine for accuracy holds holds for ready for the clips you notice how we do the uh stapling on the back which uh helps uh, for longevity keeps it on the uh, panel it's not going anywhere in fact the factory uh chrome clips are even included on our panels again it's the attention to the details and inclusions that really separate us from the pack and uh other things like like you saw the foams that are included with the pillar panels we include the foams that go underneath pieces different densities of foams that's why the, the color the color changes on some of them quarter inch foam for underneath the wheel arch covers the mocat this one has no foam underneath it but this one is the these are the sill or inner rocker covers um, and uh, we actually upgrade the material from the soft felt and poly foam that the factory used to this closed cell Landau foam which lasts much longer looks better and is also much easier to install again major kit boot cover and convertible top this isn't a, a off-the-shelf mass-produced top by one of the big convertible top manufacturers a handmade here cut on the machine sewn precisely here look at the sewing I won't pull the top out it's packed but look at the sewing and, and the precise nature of the stitch line exactly perfect and that's a that's done with our machine it actually puts a pencil line on for the sewers to be able to hit that line it's a great advantage they never had that at the Jaguar factory and subsequently if you ever see an original top or boot cover you'll see that the stitching is nowhere near as precise as this um, trunk set the fiberboard panels for the sides 
the thick panel for the for the back. Uh, there's a fiberboard panel for the early, earlier 3.8s that we have. So we, we know the spec of the car. We we'll give you what we we'll give you what's right for the car. It's our responsibility to do that. Flat floors, you know, in particular, uh, like I said, lots of changes, lots of different things. Uh, the trunk mat over there and biscuit hardura. And notice the carpet set here. Like I said, it has the Stover heel pad stone right into it, exactly as original. And of course, this this hard Jura pocket for for the uh, uh, soundproofing of this on the on, on the uh, on the gearbox. Also, the felt under felt set is included uh, with that. So let's see, have I covered everything? Hmm, almost. Uh, pillar panels. There we go. Sorry, uh, under dash panels, fiberboard panels, cut ready to install. And sometimes they need modifying. Uh, there's lots of very sort of slight variations through the years so you can just cut them down as required these uh, the covers the these little covers would end up in a bag is a perfect example of of the bagging and and tagging that's very important otherwise you'd miss that the fact that these are going to be glued behind those shapes onto the body of the car so there's vinyl behind covering here it's the first thing to do so it, that help it it comes in a bag labeled saying exactly that as does the um, see, look, six by six lower side cover vinyls glue to body behind lower side cover panels. That's that. So we're we're helping you get the uh, the perfect results that uh, we've we've achieved with our uh, work here. Uh, rebate um, door repaid switch panels, uh, wire and loom cover panel, and so on. Um, before we get into the uh, labor. Um, we'll look at some of the extras. There are lots of extras available. When you see a quote, we'll, we'll include many things that people need in a full restoration. They're not included in our kit because sometimes people have bought them ahead and they're not included in any of our competitors' kits. So we just add them as, a, as an extra as, as do other, others in the business. So extra flocked glove box, exactly as original. Uh, the webbing for the convertible top frame, the bow drill that covers the header panel in the front to match the convertible top material. Um, that's always good to have. Rear tack strip, they were originally in wood. We've now put, reproduced them in this very hard plastic. It works really well, much better than the wood. You heat it up, you bend it to shape, and the great thing about it is it lasts forever. This is the vinyl that covers that. Again, not including the kit, it's 76 inches long. So uh, it uh, is uh, a difficult piece to cut because it has to come out of the length of the roll. The bezels, they often, uh, the, the, for, the, for the hood uh, straps, the, the hold down the convertible top in the stowed position, also an extra available. Not shown on the table here, but again, look to your quote and you'll see all these extras for you to pick and choose. We put them there um, and we recommend them uh, on a full restoration obviously on, especially on such a valuable car now that leaves us with the labor we offer labor services as you can see our work is stunning our guys are masters and what we do is um, what we guarantee for the price that we uh, set are the guaranteed results you see here so there's no unknowns as far as price everything that you see in the kit is is priced Everything, all the extras are priced and, and is the, the labor, as is the labor. 3.8 bucket seats, very difficult to do and certainly very difficult to do to this very high standard here. Looks easy, it isn't. Thinking of doing it yourself, don't. You will regret it and you will waste your money. We give these 10 seat covers to 10 different people who end up with 10 different results. They are one of the hardest seats that we do in our business. They take a long time. And uh, there, frankly, there's just no chance for the home restorer to, to, to get these results. Um, and then what we see happen is that they'll do one. Actually, there's a really good video I made <laughs> of, a guy, of a guy that wouldn't listen to me and said, no, I can do it. Okay, I said, have a go. So you'll see it down below. I think I'll, I'll, I'll rest my case with that. Go see it. You'll understand why uh, you should send it to us. All the tack strips on the inside, never reuse the old tack strips, never convince yourself that they're in good enough condition to reuse, never let your installer convince you. It is not true, they need to be replaced. It's a waste of money to take expensive leather seat covers and try and put them onto the tack strips that uh, um, could shatter under 
and the stapling when you're halfway through the installation just not worth it uh, this is reproduction um, <coughs> a console the originals of course had flatter sides we put the a new rubber in for the handbrake for the shit leather shift boot uh, another extra is this uh, shift shift the chrome strongly recommended uh, it's very uh, difficult in fact impossible to get the original off without uh, having the drill walk off these dome shaped if you've ever tried to take your originals apart you'll you'll end up messing up your original because it just is extremely difficult you have to send the punch each those and it's just tedious and even with that they rarely come off without damage so recommend the new one uh, polka dot panel uh, aluminums are available from us periodically the supply on that is pretty sketchy but uh, try us and uh, we can usually get them radio fascia panel you can see the leather for the ashtray is on that one it's packed ready to go i just got another one we got uh, as you can see over there those bucket seats uh, and there's a video uh, again down below showing how many we got at the moment i think just in just in red alone we got four car sets so there we go i think i've covered everything i think you can see that the quality and inclusions are exceptional we unconditionally guarantee our products to fit and be exactly as original we offer unlimited tech support on the phone none of this comes with instructions with the exception of the dash pad which i forgot to mention which is molded urethane this is a Euro black urethane in here and there are instructions for how to do that no other instructions included in our kit, any of our kits, nor our competitors. Uh, we do recommend professional installation, but we are uh, happy to help the home restorer and or their shop, who's, who they, their restorer, to get the very best results. We're always available to answer questions and uh, help guide um, with the installation. If uh, someone gets stuck, we'd rather you call and get the answer than, than uh, guess and make a mistake. So there we go, guys. I think uh, I think that's a pretty good uh, pretty good assessment here of, of the quality that we achieve here at BAS. I'm extremely proud of our product. It's our 25th year, and um, it feels great. We we got it down to a fine art. We we've actually been making the E-type interiors longer than Jaguar themselves, twice as long. Think about it. I think th they did 13 years. We're almost there next year, I guess twice as long no we didn't do 85,000 of them but we've done a hell of a lot through the years so and again after this amount of time we're confident we've got it a hundred percent right great so we look forward to hearing from you samples on request and uh, again check out some of the videos down below there's separate videos for the for seats and some other stuff and uh, we look forward to hearing from you Okay, e type guys, I'm going to demonstrate something here that really sets BAS apart from others, and that is our handy dandy CAD cutting machine. You see here, the table is about 20 feet long, 7 feet wide. We're cutting an e type 3.8 Roadster, and uh, George has laid out the vinyl on the table here. It's a full table almost. Uh, we have every file, uh, variations of files, uh, obviously, or every year is different. We'll look at the uh, the uh, line diagram over here of the nesting of this particular cut. You can see the door panels, the inner rockers, inner sills, um, side cover panels. So every single piece of vinyl required for the entire car is cut out on this machine. And you say, so what? Well, fair enough. I'll tell you why. It's a, <laughs> it shouldn't be a so what. Uh, what that means is absolute accuracy and consistency every time. So we're going to demonstrate that. It's a, it's a stunning machine and uh, it never fails to put a smile on my face watching this thing run. So I don't know how to run it, so I'm going to ask George now to uh, do his magic and, and uh, get it all set up. We put the vacuum on. That's a fan. Uh, vacuum plenum, aluminum plenum underneath. Has the holes here. A big three-phase motor sucks the vinyl down into position. And then uh, we have a laser pointer this side in position ready to go and then George the magic finger and off we go and what with what you see there is actually a wheel cutter uh, like a pizza pizza knife but a very sharp blade and you can see it cutting uh, each of the pieces 
So I won't bore you with the rest of it, but I will show you something that's kind of cool. And that is, as it cuts the pieces out, and this, I know every single piece of every single car, <laughs> and I, that's hundreds of parts. This is an E-type door capping. This is a Rosa capping because it's taped, tapered. 3.8 console sides. Those two strips there, they're being cut now of the console piping. And once it's cut, it highlights in bold. So once it's finished that cut, bang, done. On to the next thing. Uh, wire and loom cover panel. So you can see everything is named, but I recognize the shapes anyway. And so th there you go. Uh, I think a uh, pretty impressive machine. We will um, cheat a little here, lift something if we can. There we go. Who can identify that piece? I can. It is a um, door lock rebate panels, this one here. It's where the little plate goes for the uh, interior light that's recessed into the door. It's an aluminum panel, that's the final cover for it. Anyway, there you go, that demonstrates it. And uh, once it's all done, it gets picked up and goes into the uh, department for the guys to trim this stuff onto the panels. And, uh, and then also into bags ready for the customer. Jaguar E-Type Roadster and Fixhead 3.8s. Owners, gentlemen, start your engines. Yes, just picture yourself. You, you think looking at all these uh, buckets each year that you were back at the Jaguar factory uh, in, uh, let's say, January 1962. And uh, 120 miles away from Coventry, England, in a much better country, that being Wales. I was, being, I was born January 62 and it looks like the Jaguar factory in January 62 because it's full of bucket seats. Um, we do lots as you can see, we never quite had so many all the same color at one time. Uh, and then a stray cat here with a tan coming, coming at you but I uh, wanted to film this. One's at the end actually uh, some repair work for a good friend of the company um, and then these, these have been uh, finished and not fully finished yet there's some uh, tweaking to do but uh, you get the idea um, strongly recommend uh, with such a valuable car that you entrust the trimming of the seats to us these are the most difficult the seats to trim out of everything we do every model nothing is more difficult than a bucket seat nothing looks worse in a 3.8 valuable car than a poorly fitting uh, bucket seat go look at the competition go look at the shows go look at pictures and you will not see them as perfect as we do them here at BAS so uh, it took years to figure this out and this is the result so what you get when you when you entrust us if you go with us on a kit you send us the frames this is what you get what you're paying for are the guaranteed results that you see strongly recommend it all brand new foam all brand new Baltic birch applied tack strips and all riveted to the seat frames as original, brand new everything. Um, there's the tack strips, and then we even do the tack cord in the bottom. You see here, has this one got it down. See the bottom of the seat with the tack cord as original. So, very high quality, and uh, just kind of wanted to show off and show you guys this. I think it looks pretty impressive.